Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Animakers, a great online platform for creating online training video and also different kind of video here on YouTube, such as marketing video, social media video, advertising and stuff like that. It has many interesting features such as the, a lot of preset templates and uh, character builders and take to speech and download 4k video and also many many stuff like that and uh, also the animation is very interesting hopefully i can cover everything about this platform in a short amount of time and being mentioned that uh, this video is sponsored by animakers uh, by the way all the words in this video is my personal opinion and if you want to try the the app you can uh, go ahead to the link i put in the description and also they offer a special discount coupon code for you to save your money if you want to purchase any plan and don't get me wrong you can download uh, you can access to the to the app uh, with your register account for free and there's some pricing plan here so let me show you uh, so here i am uh, at the home page of the application and you can click here this pricing plan to see all the all the plans of the the app uh, so they have basic starter and pro and enterprise so all this thing for the basic you need to pay 10 10 bucks per month and 120 uh, usd per year and for the starter and pro and enterprise uh, there are different price pricing plan here and you can when you click uh, on learn more you have the uh, this is a free option so uh, with a free version you can uh, download five time five times per month uh, with a watermark on your output and the basic uh, five premium and the pro you uh, you have 20 download per month and many other things here like um, uh, upload limitation and api support and animation and five minutes and support and, and stuff like that so be sure to check out the pricing plans before you want to purchase this software okay at uh, this application okay so let's go back to the home page so here the home page if you don't have an account you just uh, need to uh, create uh, your first video you can click this button or you can click this button to sign up an account so i'm going to click here sign up uh, create your first video uh, so here you have some option to sign up an account uh, you can use your google account or facebook or you can uh, put your username and email address and password right here i already have an account because they uh, they sent me a pro version of this uh, application so i'm going to log into my dashboard now uh, so here is the dashboard uh, when you access to the uh, the application uh, it is also very easy to navigate on the right side you have uh, some information about your your account here your account and status and profile and stuff like that uh, right here and you have the support button and uh, on here here are other application uh, from this uh, software developer okay and you can also access to pricing plans which is similar to what i show you and this is a dashboard and you can search you can search for a template right here so you see here there's many template many many template uh, for for your for you to create a video and the template uh, and their templates are divided into uh, diff different categories for example if you want to uh, uh, produce a video as you can uh, click here you can want if you want to uh, produce a cartoon a 2d 2d animation video you can click here for social media you can click here and you can also select an intro and outro and that is all, all about the template and if you go back to the dashboard uh, you will have the, here uh, the create uh, so you can click uh, this button to create a video uh, create a gif or create a character you can build your own character here or create a voice with a text to speech voice and this is a creative presentation this is this is a new feature of this um, this platform and now uh, here you have uh, your project so the, these are the project that you uh, have just create so I, I create some uh, sample project here and share with me meaning that some uh, people want to share uh, their project with you and brand kit you can add your old logo here uh, at the brand kit area it's very interesting so you can add your old logo here and brand color and so you can design it, uh, in your style okay uh, so now go back to the dashboard 
all right so we are back to the dashboard uh, here it's time to create a new project uh, here you can select the size of your video or you can customize your, uh, the size of your video uh, and you can click this button to create a video if you want to create your own size okay and here's a very interesting feature of this program is voice uh, voiceover so it is a text-to-speech machine uh, we can have you convert your text into voice uh, it is very interesting because I've been using text-to-speech for for some years and let me show you okay you can uh, click here to open a new uh, a new uh, web page uh, we show the text to speech uh, so here you can type the text here for, for example hello everyone uh, welcome to my channel I am Jackie Nguyen okay so this is just a short intro and here on the right side you can select the male or female so I'm going to go with female and then uh, here at the language option there are many language here uh, even they have Vietnamese my own language and I try it and it's very, very interesting okay by the way in order to to have you understand I'm going to use US English and now we need to select the voice uh, they have here some uh, some different different voice but Matthew is my uh, is the take to speed voice that I use on Amazon Polly uh, so they have the same uh, the same voice uh, as I used in the past and even even more interesting so let's preview it okay so this is just uh, Matthew with no enhancement and no pause nothing just preview it hello everyone welcome to my channel I am Jackie Wynn very nice right and if you want to add pause or, or stuff like that here for example when you say hello everyone you you want to add pause here you can click uh, this uh, dot and now you can adjust the break to this and it was uh, it it will pause uh, for some a, a little bit here and we can preview it now hello everyone welcome to my channel i am jackie win very nice and you can also control the speed and pitch and volume of the uh, the voice here also if you increase the speed uh, it will sound like this uh, like this uh, let's preview it hello everyone <laughs> welcome to my channel i am jackie win <laughs> okay very nice and now i'm going to reset it to normal and now uh, here there are some uh, some other option for example this is very interesting the new caster so it read the uh, similar to uh, to a, a reporter okay we can check this one and preview hello everyone welcome to my channel i'm uh, jackie win <laughs> this look like a reporter right so i think this uh, this feature is very interesting uh, especially for those of you who cannot uh, cannot speak uh, native language uh, like me and and other foreigners who cannot speak english well uh, they can use take to speech to a uh, great video for their educational video okay you try this out and now we can uh, close this one and go back to our dashboard here All right, so let's start uh, creating a new video, a 16 by 9 video for YouTube. For YouTube, I'm going to select this one and we can create a blank project or we can select a template here. But uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to select a blank project. And it is always takes time to load the uh, to load the new web page or stuff like that. So it it is the disadvantage of using an online platform. You need to have a good internet connection. Otherwise, it will be terrible. Okay, okay. So now we are the, at the workspace of AnyMaker. So actually, we have two version here. Uh, one is a full version. You have all uh, full control of your uh, library and timelines and scene and stuff like that. And you have the other version is live version. So the live version have only a preview window at the center. And on the right side, you have all the templates or stuff like that. Uh, it will give you less control. By the way, you can create video faster with this, uh, this live version. 
and I created uh, one simple sample uh, I will show you at the end of this video okay so we go back to the full version and you can see here at the center we have a preview window and down here we have a timeline so this is very similar to other video editor and on the timeline we have a character uh, animation timeline and video timeline and this is a camera angle button so when you select uh, select it you can uh, create different camera angle for your your video and i think this is a very interesting feature in animakers because you can create different type zoom in and pan uh, zoom in effect and panning effect for your scene here for example when you we select the camera button here the camera timeline and we can see this is a, the camera timeline and here we have a button to select uh, the static camera or dynamic camera we can uh, click here and we can switch between uh, static camera and dynamic camera so let me show you how how to use this one for example i have a character here uh, in the scene right so this is a uh, when i turn to camera timeline so this is just a static camera so the camera doesn't move uh, okay now uh, for example at this position i want to add a camera effect here to uh, zoom in uh, so to create a medium shot so what i'm going to do is to click this button to add a camera effect and now i need to adjust this camera camera frame so this is a frame the, the camera so we can adjust it like this uh, so let's review this one uh, because we uh, have just created a camera zoom in effect uh, right here so let's start at the beginning okay and play and starting from here okay very nice right and we can even add more camera effect uh, to this one for example at this position so we are going to this position i want to zoom back uh, zoom back to full screen uh, so uh, we can add another camera effect here and then we can also adjust this one adjust it to full screen or we can press this button to to go full screen and now we have just uh, create a zoom in effect and then uh, zoom out okay let's play it this is zoom in and zoom out to full screen so that is very nice right and you can uh, use this uh, camera timeline button to create different effect for your scene all right so let's delete everything here and turn turn back on to the video editing timeline and also delete the character here okay and on the right side you have different scene uh, this is the first scene and you can uh, click here to add more scene or copy uh, click this button to duplicate the scene and you can delete the scene also delete this scene also and on the left side you have the library so where you can build your characters and find the text and add sticker and background music and and stuff like that for example I, I will show you from the beginning here we have a template so all the item with a template here and this is a character so the character inside here they have many character here by the way uh, the good things about animaker is that you can build your own character uh, let's say uh, you want to build your own character you can click on this button create your own uh, this is my, this is a character that I create for example but you can click here to create your own character uh, to open a new web page and it's very interesting so I want to show you here so, uh, those, so the first thing you will need to select a gender boy um, man or woman or girls so now I'm going to select he it means a, a man uh, now we can select a, a start starting point for our character uh, like this one okay this look fine we can select this one okay so his look a little bit too old so we need to customize him uh, with any makers you can customize almost every part of your body here uh, first one the skin tone i can change it to <laughs> oh, this skin tone but for now i'm going to select this one uh, this is a skin tone and you can also change his hair uh, many many hair here stylish hair how about this one and this one uh, we can double click to apply okay it's look fine and here we have the face shape we can change the shape of the face also uh, down here like this one double click to apply it and also we can uh, have a facial hair here Ooh, 
looks nice. Ooh, hello, hello, Jackie. Your eye and eyebrows and nose and also lips and ears. So many stuff here. So try to create a, a special character for yourself. And when you're happy with your character, you can click this button to save and save. It will save uh, your character to the library. Okay, now you can click here to create a new character or you can go back to the dashboard. Okay, so now I'm go, go back to my project here uh, and I'm going to refresh it to have the, the new character here. Okay, uh, let's play refresh. Uh, okay, so uh, in this character, uh, this is my own character and I, I have here. This one, this one is the uh, the character that I have just created uh, with just some simple click and click. That's easy, right? Uh, but I'm going to uh, delete this one and that is about the character. You can uh, have preset character here and also you can create your old character. Uh, down here we have a property so with different shape and uh, sticker and, and other other parts that you can add to your scene okay and here we have text uh, they also have animated text title uh, like this and you can also add your old text here with the add a heading add heading or add a text here uh, it is very easy right and let's delete everything here about the text and down here you have the background so they have different backgrounds uh, you can use for your scene and for your video uh, they divide it into office and gradient backgrounds, photo background, and other stuff like here. Nature, public place, or street, or stuff like that. Yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, so here we have uh, also many stock uh, image and stock footage uh, to use. And they say millions, millions of uh, stock image and footage, by the way. All these things uh, are paper use. So if you want to use uh, one of these image, you need to pay. The cost is different. For example, this one is 15 US dollar per use, and for other 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 option is uh, cost 15 or, or five US dollar stuff like that. For the video, for example, if you want to use this background video, you need to uh, select uh, pay about five dollar. Okay, so now we're going to delete it because uh, when we select it uh, here at the library it will automatically add it to the scene here okay and background music you can have uh, all this music are royal, uh, royalty free and you can also upload your own music and sound effect and stuff like that and here we have some video effect that you can apply to your scene many 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 video effect and here at the, at the download uh, folder you can upload your old logo and your video and stuff like that and and music and all, all the things you want to upload by the way you have an upload limitation with your you know with your plans for example the pro version the pro plan we have a, about 10 gigabyte uh, that i can upload all right so that is about the library so now i'm going to uh, to build a scene uh, an example okay so in order to create a short video uh, the first thing we need to, yeah, maybe rename it to to something. Uh, I'm going to uh, rename it to demo number one. Demo number one. All right, so the name is, is, is okay. And, and you don't need to worry about the save or stuff like that because the animator will save your project and you will not lose the project even if you close the, the app and you open it again. It's okay. Okay, so uh, for now, uh, at the first scene, uh, I want to build a character talking in 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 the office area so the first thing i want to to, uh, to do is to uh, select a background first so i'm going to the background library here and there are many office uh, office stuff here we can click on this button to have more office and we are going to find a good place so i think this one uh, okay this one look fine so just uh click on it click on the background and it will uh, bring the background to the uh, preview area and you can click this button to hide the library so for the you know, for the background we have some option to build the color of the background here uh, for example this is a filter if you want to apply a filter to your background you can select this one and select different different filter for your background it is a uh, kind of, uh, similar to lookup table when making video Okay, so we can uh, see keep it at original or we can keep it here at festive or, 
uh, and adjust the, the amount intensity adjust the intensity here it is very easy so we can keep like this otherwise if you if don't you are not happy with the other color here you can customize it like the way you want uh, by clicking this button uh, this is the first color and the second color third color and fourth and five uh, so for example you want to change the first color uh, to this one uh, it look like this okay uh, but we we need to keep the original because I'm not I'm not good at mixing color just show you the the option uh, just show you the option to change the color the second color we can have here uh, at the ground level and if you say it's okay and the third color here we can uh, see like different colors so this is a chair so if you're good at designing the designing things and then you can customize the background like the way you want and here's some option you can flip the background left right and up and down and stuff like that uh, like this uh, with this option for now I, I will keep the uh, the background like this okay uh, I'm going to select uh, the library again uh, now we need to uh, to put our character here so uh, let's go back to the character character here so we have the built-in character or we can use our own character so I'm going to use this one, uh, Jackie. <laughs> All right. So this is a character that I'm going to use in this example. Uh, and when we click on the character, you will see here uh, we have an animation or the duration control of the character on the timeline. Uh, whenever you select the character here, you will have uh, you will see this duration control. Okay. So we can preview the uh, preview the scene now. Uh, play this uh, press this button to to review the whole project or you can press this button to review only this scene hmm looks nice so my character is uh, in in the at the center of the frame by the way we can create animation for our character so he can step uh, outside the frame into the center and we start talking and uh, talking with some text bubble and then he go out the frame uh, with any makers okay uh, so the first one we want to to uh, have uh, to change his action uh, Here is stand still and then we can change it to walking first uh, Let's type walking here and uh, select walking. I think this one is look fine So we are going to select him and uh, I think it's okay. So Okay, so let's preview it Nice, right? So that is the first action. By the way, he's just keep walking at the center of the screen. So it's look, uh, it's look awkward. Uh, now I want to add an animation keyframe for him so he can start working from here to the center of the screen. Okay. So to do that, the first thing we want to move him out of the frame. And now we need to add keyframe. And this is the animation keyframe. Uh, they call action plus. So we can click here. Uh, so this is the first keyframe. He's working from here and we can click this button to add another keyframe Okay, so this is the first keyframe and this is the second keyframe and he's still working uh, We can select the second keyframe and now we want to to move this uh, This character to this area. So we will start uh, working from here to here and now we need to click this button to apply Okay, uh, and also click this button to apply and this is the first action uh, he start working from outside the screen to the center okay and here is the any animation speed we can we can just move this keyframe uh, just a little bit to to this area uh, so he, he can work slowly if you want to uh, him to work fast you can um, move this keyframe to this area by the way I'm going to move it to this area and let's review review the first scene Okay, click this button to preview. Wow. <laughs> it's still too fast, so we can adjust the animation. Okay, click here and then we can uh, move it to here. Uh, okay, I forgot to click this button to apply, apply the action. So we need to click here, apply. And now the, the animation now is better. We can preview it now. nice nice okay so uh, we are going to uh, select the, the the character again so at this position 
uh, he finished walking into the frame so he is here and now we need to add another keyframe another action for our character so he uh, stand here and wave or, or talk or something okay so we are going to select this one and we are going to uh, click this button to add another keyframe or you can click here also to add another keyframe so I'm going to click here uh, so that uh, this is the first and the second and the third keyframe at a at a third keyframe I want to change the, the his action to this uh, this action okay and now we are going to click this uh, button to apply and click this button to apply and now we have our character uh, moving from the left side of the screen to the center and start talking something okay let's preview it hello I'm Jackie okay so the next thing I want to add is uh, some text text bubble here because uh, he's standing here and talking uh, so we are going to find the, the the position so we are going to here at this position he will st uh, start talking and now we go back to the library here and we find the text here okay so in the uh, in this uh, text library we have many things and we just need to scroll it down here to find the text bubble uh, okay I think this one look fine by the way I think uh, should be this one okay I think I love this one so I'm going to click on that and then I can customize the text firstly hi I am Jackie nice to meet you uh, stop like that and we can also resign resign the bubble and it is very interesting just uh, make it smaller and I want to put it right here and also point to my character here hi I am Jackie and nice to meet you uh, the next thing I want to do for the text is to uh, create an ent enter effects and exit effect so uh, we can select uh, the enter effect here and we can select different one and also choose no effect uh, by the way I think uh, uh, this one look fine uh, pop bottom left so I'm going to double click to apply and again you will see the duration the duration of the text here by the way we let's play the, the scene again uh, to preview it mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Jackie. Nice to meet you. Okay, I think it's nice. So we are going to uh, um, uh, to shorten the duration, uh, shorten the duration of the text bubble to this area because it just happened in two seconds or stuff like that. And at this position, at uh, at seven second, I want my character to move out of the frame because he just want to say hi to us okay so now we go back to our character and we need to add more keyframe for him at the, this position okay so we are going to select him again here and then we can click this button to add more keyframe for him so this is the next keyframe uh, he's still here uh, but we want to change change the, the action to walk out of the uh, out of the screen okay so we are going to select it and then find the, the action here and uh, start typing walking again uh, happily okay after say hello to everyone he's happily walking out of the frame we can select it and we can select this one and click this button to apply and now we're going to apply so now he's start working but he's uh, still at the center and now we need to add another keyframe for him uh, we are going to select this keyframe and click here to add another keyframe now I just want to move this at this keyframe I, I just want to move the character out of the scene to this area right all right so we have multiple action uh, on the screen now and uh, maybe sometime we will mess up so uh, remember here's the action number five this one and this is the action number four when the character finish talking at this position so uh, it would be at this position uh, he start uh, he start walking out the frame and this is the end of the scene 
and this is a keyframe action number five and this is action number seven and uh, at this position he's he's still talking okay and we can click apply now and to preview the, the scene okay and put the play head here and now we can click this button to preview very nice right so again in order to create a good animation video you need uh, to be careful about timing because uh, we have to control the character um, animation very carefully okay by the way i'm very happy with this scene uh, so at this position uh, he's keep talking and the last thing i want to to do here is to add a background music and also some uh, video effect Let's go back to the library here. Uh, for the effect, I can go here and add some stuff like here or on the background. I, I think it's a little bit boring. So we are going to add this welcome. Uh, okay, and maybe he, when he start talking, uh, we can have this welcome. And I want to shorten the duration to about two seconds. I think it's nice. By the way, you can choose other effect here. Okay, so let's preview this first. Mm. very nice the final thing add a background music and finish this scene okay go to music and we are going to okay we are going to uh, use this one so it will automatically synchronize with the the scene here uh, the background music and we all we need to do is just select it and then drag it on the timeline for the first scene is about 10 seconds and look like this and this is a final product very nice right and now we can publish the uh, the, the first scene uh, if you want to build more scene all you need to do is to select here and click uh, build in more scene or copy in and paste uh, this scene and build more scene by the way uh, in this tutorial it is just a short one so i just uh, create this uh, simple one and uh, we can click the publish button here but before doing that if you if you want to to add your voice over or your own voice to to the scene uh, you can click this button uh, they have a a voiceover button here so you can click here and uh, there's some option here the text to speech i already showed you at the beginning of this tutorial and the record voiceover you can click here and start recording your voice uh, for example i can start uh, talking about 10 seconds <laughs> Hello everyone, I am Jackie. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. And I can reveal my voice uh, to see if it's okay. Otherwise, I can click apply and it will uh, put into my scene. Okay, let's review. Hello everyone, I am Jackie. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Okay, so now I'm click apply and it will synch all my audio with the scene inside here so let's review everything now hello everyone i am jackie nice to meet you. hello bye -bye. everyone i am jackie nice to meet you. bye bye <laughs> I think the, the audio is a little bit too bad because uh, maybe the, I put so many things and my computer is not showing up. By the way, it's, uh, it's just the information for you guys to uh, record a voiceover for your scene. And the last thing you want to do is to publish your scene. So uh, we can click this button to publish and we have different options here such as uh, publish to uh, YouTube or social media. By the way, normally I always uh, save uh, my video to my computer and you can click this download video and click and then you can select uh, the name, change it, final demo one and also select the resolution here. So for this example, I'm going to select uh, Full HD 1080p, okay? And now we can select different type of video format here. Also, if you want, 
you can select here and uh, there are multiple video format but for uploading to youtube we'll go with the uh, mp4 and now we click the download button so the, the the app will render the video and then we'll send the notifi notification to your email address and i think it's very fast the render rendering speed is very fast um, but make sure that you have a, a good internet connection otherwise it will take forever <laughs> all right so there you go so a notification to my email address that my video is ready and now i can simply click here to download it to my computer and also uh, edit the project duplicate it or uh, share it by email and social media or stuff like that and now it can play the video to see uh, what i have just created play hello everyone i am jackie nice to meet you bye bye <laughs> Nice to meet you. Bye bye. The audio is a little bit weird, but by the way, it's okay. Now we can uh, click here to download the video. It will start saving the video to my computer. All right. So that's everything I want to share with you in this video about Animaker. So I think it is a great platform for those of you who want to create video here on YouTube, but you don't want to install software on your computer. And the good things about this platform is that uh, all you need to do is to access to the internet and you can create video everywhere. Okay. If you want to try out this software, don't forget to use the discount coupon code in the description to save your, save your money. And it is free to register a, a new account. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Goodbye. Hello, everyone. I am Jackie. Bye-bye.